brought to you by GTA. We start with you. I could hear him like gasping for air. And so I woke him up. We drove quickly to the uh, Jigo fire station. Um, and sure enough, he need, his oxygen levels weren't, um, weren't good. And so they transported him. And that was the last time that I was with him physically. Um, I was able to do a video call with him while at GRMC, but that following morning he was already intubated and sedated and that that was the last time that I, I actually saw him awake and and here we are. Rene Tamanda was a customs and quarantine officer, an avid fisherman, a beloved brother, husband and father. His wife Davina Leonis Tamanda and his brother Ray share his story today on The Link. He didn't have any underlying conditions prior to being infected with this COVID. And so every, you know, I thought, man, you're so strong. I mean, like, you're so healthy. What, I I don't know. I, I guess the infection just took over his body. He is a good man. He's a good husband, uh, a good father, brother, son. We will all miss him, friend. Known for his tireless work ethic, active lifestyle, selflessness, and family devotion, Rene was a light for so many. Throughout this pandemic, we've seen too many loved ones fall victim to this virus. Davina and Ray Tamanda plead with the island to realize the seriousness of COVID-19. Take this uh, pandemic seriously, because it's not a joke. It's not a joke. The young guys out there that think that COVID is uh, a flu, you don't want to go through what we're going through. Losing a brother, you can't buy that at the store. You can't go Ross to go get it. You can't go eBay, Amazon to buy a brother or family member. All we can do is listen, mass up, stay away, or even just stay home. Please. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Peter Santos. Brought to you by GTA, we start with you.